This is your KDKA-TV News Brief. I'm Rick Dayton from KDK TV News. Here are your news headlines for Tuesday, March 6th. Pennsylvania's Attorney General is suing Uber, saying it broke the law when it waited a year to notify drivers about a data breach. The lawsuit claims hackers stole the names and driver's license numbers for at least 13,000 Uber drivers in Pennsylvania. The lawsuit is seeking $13.5 million for fines from Uber. Amazon leadership could soon be making a trip to Pittsburgh as the e-commerce giant started making trips to the 20 finalists for its second headquarters location. The Washington Post reports the company leaders toured potential sites in Washington, D.C., Montgomery County, Maryland, and Northern Virginia last week. It is unclear when representatives are going to make the trip to Pittsburgh. Some Pittsburgh voters are voting today in a special election to fill a city council seat. Four people are on the ballot in the 8th district, which covers Shadyside and portions of Oakland, Point Breeze, and Squirrel Hill. The candidates include two women. If a woman is elected, she'll be the first councilwoman representing that district. Polling places will be open until 8 o'clock this evening. Former Vice President Joe Biden is going to visit the Pittsburgh area today, campaigning with Democratic congressional candidate Connor Lamb. He's running to fill the vacant seat in Pennsylvania's 18th district. They will together appear at a rally with union membership at the Carpenters Training Center in Collier. They will later meet with supporters at Robert Morris University. Lamb is running against Republican Rick Saccone, who gets the support of the president on Saturday. The president says he will host a rally at Atlantic Aviation in Moon. The special election for that race will be held Tuesday, March 13th, a week from today. Recent polls have been showing that to be a tightened race. Let's get the weather forecast now for meteorologist Ron Smiley. Ron? And rain chances are back uh, later on today. Should be into the afternoon hours that we see that. You can see our PM chances for rain way up with a solid chance for some rain showers as a warm front comes in. We'll continue with the chance for rain both Wednesday and on Thursday. We'll watch closely for that. Here's your forecast. High temperature about 45 degrees. So yeah, even with that, we'll still have a small chance for some snow today. Better chances for some snow with the rain showers on Wednesday. And it looks like Thursday should be all snow. Colder air moving in. That's where that upper low is. It's 46 for our high, but 42 just off into uh, parts of Chicago today for a high. Here's a look at your uh, forecast, including our next dry day. Rick, come again on Saturday. In sports, Justin Schultz scored the overtime game winner, giving the Penguins a 4-3 win over the Calgary Flames. Schultz's fourth goal of the season helped the Pens improve to 10-1 and in overtime contests at home. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure you watch the KDK TV News or visit KDK.com where we're always on. And don't forget to please like and follow KDK on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm Rick Dayton. Have a great day.